Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hi, guys. Good evening. Welcome to another class it's here at Inglés Corporativo. My name is Alejandro Narbona, and I'm going to be with you today. How are you guys? Are you okay? You good? A little bit tired. Hey, welcome to my life. <laughs> <laughs> When you say, when you say tired, and you say, welcome to my life, is bienvenido a mi vida. Es como que eso es super, super común para ustedes también. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, you can, exp you can use that expression, welcome to my life. All welcome right. to my life. Perfect. So, I see Jennifer, Jesse, Antonio, Patricia Hernandez, Claudia, Oscar. I have a lot of people today. Javier, Jonathan. Gabriel, I see you there, and Jairo. Good evening to all of you. It's a pleasure to be with you. So, guys, um, today we're going to be working with going to. But before we go to going to, antes de ir a going to, do you have any question about yesterday's topic? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta del tema de ayer? No. No? All good? Yes. All right. So, guys, let's go ahead and review super quick. How do you say enero? January. January. Febrero. February. February. Marzo. March. 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 Abril. April. 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 Mayo. May. 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 Ajá, continue. June. 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 Ajá. July. 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 Right. August. 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 Don't forget my the month of my birthday. So August and after August, August, September, September, September. then October, October, October. November, November, December. November, December. Very good. Um, ¿Qué preposición usamos para solo el mes? What preposition do we use for just the month? In. In. Fantastic. And what preposition do we use for dates? On. Oh. Oh. Fantastic. So, how do you say in Agosto? In August. Very August. good. How do you say el 15 de septiembre? Um, on November. On September. On September. 15th. 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 Mm -hmm. Acuérdense, como que estamos hablando con la Z. 15th. 15th. Fifteen. Mm -hmm. Very good. How do you say vigésimo segundo? Twenty. Twenty second. Thirty second. Twenty second. Twenty second. Mm -hmm. Very good. How do you say vigésimo? Twenty. Twentieth. 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 All right, very good, guys. Remember that this is a daily practice. Acuérdense que lo que vieron ayer, tenemos que tratar de masterizarlo, porque si no, es como mi madre decía, nos lo pegamos con saliva y a los tres días ya ni nos acordamos. <laughs> All right? So, okay. practice every single day. Tema que vemos, tema que tratamos de masterizar, y en la tarde, cuando estemos en el almuerzo, cuando vayamos en el bus, manejando, siempre con cuidado manejando, Vayamos contando en nuestra mente. Let's count in our heads. How do you say contar en nuestra mente? Count in mm -hmm. our heads. Count in our heads. Count in our heads, correct. So, first. Count in our heads. Ajá, uh -huh. first, second, third. Ustedes solitos vayan masterizando. Es cuestión de actitud y de hábitos. Y de hábitos. It's about attitude and habits. Okay? Okay. All right, guys, so after the quick review, how do you say repaso? Review. 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 Fantastic. So after the quick review, let's go ahead and do what we came here to do. Vamos a hacer lo que venimos a hacer. So read with me, please. Lesson objective. Everyone, read with me. How do you say lean conmigo? Read with me. Read with me. Read with me. So lesson objective. Uh -huh. Todos al mismo tiempo. Solo quiero que practiquen, que vayan practicando los músculos, ¿ok? So, read it with me, Next. please. By the end of this class, 
By the end of this class, uh -huh. you will learn you will you will learn. Learn. Mm -hmm. how to ask and answer yes and no questions. <laughs> how to ask uh, and answer yes uh, or not questions. Yes. Using be going to. Using be going to. Additionally, 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 you will practice a conversation. You will, you practice, will practice a conversation. A conversation. 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 There you go. This one, guys. Um, vamos a. Permítame, vamos a quitarle el sonido a WhatsApp. Que los grupos de WhatsApp de los online classes están bastante activos. All right, so what we're going to do in this one, guys, is that no vamos a hacer conversation. Mucha gente le mete la O ahí. Vamos a pasar de la SH a la N. Do not repeat, please. No repitan. Just listen. Solo escuchen. Conversation. Pasamos de la SH a la N. All right. Conversation. Everyone. Conversation. 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 All right, very good. Conversation about birthday plans. About birthday plans. This conversation illustrates. This conversation illustrates. How this topic is used in a real life setting. How this topic is used in a real life setting. In a real life setting. Ok, guys. So, al final, al final de esta clase, aprenderán cómo formular y responder preguntas con respuesta corta, sí o no, utilizando be going to. Adicionalmente, practicarán una conversación sobre planes de cumpleaños. Esta conversación ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un escenario de la vida real. All right. All right. Fantastic. So, now, guys. Here, let's go ahead and work on it. The future would be going to, say it with me, please. The future will be going to. Going to. Will be going to. And conversation. And conversation. In conversation. 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 Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, so. Les voy a poner un audio, guys. Esto vamos a tratar de hacerlo súper rápido para que podamos practicar la mayor parte del tiempo. Pero con el audio necesito que copien todo. Absolutamente todo. Si ellos dicen, hi, how are you? No digamos, hi, how are you? Vamos a copiarlo todo. Hi, how are you? Say with me. Hi, how are you? Hi, hi how are you? How are you? Very good. Copiemos todo. Ahí aprendemos entonación, linking words, todo. All right? All right. All right. Very good. Let's go ahead and play it. Let me know if you can listen. Can you hear the video? No. No? no? All right. Give me just a no. second then. Let me go ahead and cancel the sharing. And I'll go ahead and share it again with you. There we go. All right, let's make it happen. All right, guys, here is where I need you to repeat everything you hear. Necesito que repitan todo lo que oyen. I'm sorry, teacher, I, I don't hear. Here. 
It's a little bit loud. It's louder. It's a little bit loud. What is it loud? The audio? The audio. The audio. I'll just try it again. Let me see. Let me make sure that I have all the uh, all the uh, volume up. Can you hear? No. Hmm. All right. Let me check it again. One second, please. Let me try to share it again. Happy birthday. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Can you hear now? Yes. 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 All right, fantastic. So everyone with me, please. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Are, Are you going, going to do anything, anything exciting this weekend? Very good. Exciting. Exciting. This weekend. This weekend. This weekend. Very good. So, in Spanish is, ¿vas a hacer algo emocionante este fin de semana? Can you hear me? Yes. yes. All right, fantastic. So, let's listen up. Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Mm -hmm. Repeat, please. Well, well, I, I am going to celebrate my, my, my birthday. birthday. All right. So say with me, please. Well, well I'm going well. to celebrate. Uh -huh. En esta, guys, voy a tratar de decirlo todo de un solo. ¿Por qué? Porque cuando nosotros hablamos español, no hablamos, bueno, voy a celebrar mi cumpleaños, ¿verdad? Así que okay. no nos podemos acostumbrar a leer en pedacitos porque es así como vamos a sonar y nuestra fluidez se va a ver sumamente afectada. So, voy a tratar de leer en frases que se dijeran normalmente como se habla y ustedes traten de repetir absolutamente todo. All right? So, repeat right. with me, please. Si ven que hago una pausa, es por la coma. Ok, so vamos a decir, Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Démosle ahorita. Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. My birthday. Ajá, so. Birthday. Birthday. So how do you say, Bueno, voy a celebrar mi cumpleaños. Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Exactly. How do you say that in English? Say it again, please. Well, well, I'm going well, to celebrate my birthday. All right, fantastic. My birthday. Next one. Fabulous. Fabulous. When is your birthday? Fabulous. Uh -huh. Fabulous. 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 When is your birthday? When is your birthday? Mm -hmm. Exactly. What is your birthday exactly? Birthday. When is your birthday exactly? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, how do you say fabuloso? Birthday. Fabulous. 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 Very good. It's August 9th. It's, it's August, August 9th. 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 Sunday. 9th. Sunday. 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 All right, very good. Let's listen to it. It's August 9th, it's Sunday. August. Uh -huh, repeat after me. It's August 9th, Sunday. It's August 9th, Sunday. It's August 9th, Sunday. So, what are your plans? Well, my so, what are your plans? So, what are your plans? How do you say? Bueno, ¿cuáles son tus planes? In English. So, so well, what's, what's your plans? Your plans? So, what are your plans? Very good. Let's listen up to the next one. Where? My friend Kayla is going to take me oh. out for dinner. Nice. Mm -hmm. Well, well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. All right. So, say it with me, please. Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. 
How do you say llevarme a cenar? Going to take me going out to for dinner. dinner. I would going for dinner. to take me there out for dinner. Take, take me out for dinner. dinner. Correct. Now dinner. we're almost done with this one. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Uh huh. Is she going to order a cake? Is she going to order a cake? Very good. And the last one. Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, it's not showing. Don't worry. I'll try to get it back for you. Now let's analyze. To take me out for dinner. There we nice. Go. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah. All right. Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Yeah. And the waiters um. Probably going to sing. probably going mm. tonight. Okay. Happy birthday to, to sing. Me. Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing. Happy birthday. It's so embarrassing. Mm -hmm. It's so embarrassing. Alrighty, guys. So, so here with these type of things, con este tipo de cosas, it's where you get new vocabulary. Okay. Aquí es donde ustedes obtienen nuevo vocabulario. So, how do you say, vas a hacer algo emocionante este fin de semana? I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to run together. I'm going to celebrate my... Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? There you go. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? First, I'm going to go to the video right. game Now, how do you say, vas a hacer algo emocionante mañana? Are you going to do anything exciting tomorrow? Very good. ¿Vas a hacer algo emocionante hoy? Are you going to do anything exciting now? Mm -hmm. Are you going to do any exciting today? Ahora? So, como ustedes pueden ver, guys, es cuestión de que ustedes vayan tomando frases. Ok. Y las frases poco a poco ustedes van cambiando ciertos detallitos y es cuando su, volario, su vocabulario se va enriqueciendo. All right. So, next one. I need a volunteer. How do you say voy a celebrar mi cumpleaños? I'm going to celebrate my birthday. There you go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Correct. How do you say voy a celebrar mi aniversario? I'm going, I'm going to, celebrate to celebrate my, my anniversary. anniversary. I'm going to celebrate my anniversary. Very good. Very good. How do you say, voy a celebrar mi boda? I'm going to celebrate my, 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 my wedding. I'm going to try to... Wedding. Uh-huh. Wedding. 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 All right. Where? How do you say, voy a celebrar mi divorcio? <laughs> I, I'm going to celebrate my I'm divorce. My, my divorce. My There you go. So, ya sabemos cómo decir, voy a celebrar. All right. Esto es, guys, lo que vamos a hacer nosotros. All right. Vamos a trabajar con going to. Going to es voy a. And we are going to use going to for plans. ¿Para qué ocupamos going to? For plans. plans. Yeah. For, For plans. plans. Exactly. For plans. Ya si ustedes van o no, es otro, es otro tema. Pero los planes ahí están. Es la diferencia principal con will. So, how do you say, yo voy a cenar esta noche? I'm going to... to going to... Dinner. I'm going to, to dinner. do dinner tonight. I'm going to dinner. Cenar is have 
dinner. Have dinner. Have dinner. Have dinner. Have dinner. dinner. I'm going to have to dinner. Have dinner. Mm -hmm. To have dinner. All right. I'm going to write it down so you can see it. I'm going to have dinner. I'm okay. going to have dinner. How do you say voy a bailar? I'm going to dance. How do you say voy a dormir? I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. Very good. Now, pueden ver el pueden ver el chat, verdad? Porque estoy compartiendo la pantalla. Yes. All right, very good. So, what do you think is the structure? ¿Cuál creen que es la estructura? Si se fijan, hay un patrón, ¿verdad? Subject, plus, to be, going to, going to, y el verbo. ¿Qué tipo de verbo? What kind of verb? Regular. Present verb. Base. Vamos a llamarlo base. Es el verbo base. And then, complement. Complement. Mm -hmm. so, how do you say, voy a estudiar inglés? I'm going, I'm going to study English. Study English. Study English. Study. Correct, correct. I'm going to study English. How do you say, voy a tomar agua? I'm going to drink water. I'm going to drink water. I'm going to drink water. Fantastic. As you can see, como ustedes pueden ver, Estamos repitiendo lo mismo. Y por eso siempre les menciono, guys, que el inglés no es que sea fácil, pero tiene una estructura súper fácil. All right? So, how do you say, él va a cenar? He's going to, going to have dinner. He is he's going, going to be. To, he is. He is, he is, he is, he is he's going, going to have dinner. dinner. Uh -huh. he's, he's going to have, have dinner. dinner. Very good. How do you say, él va a bailar? He's going to dance. He's going to dance. So, how do you say, él va a dormir? Dance. He's going to sleep. So, ¿qué fue lo que cambió? Ya no pongo I am. Yeah. El am solamente va con I. Pero si tenemos he, she, it, vamos a ocupar is. is. So, ¿cómo dicen? How do you say, ella va a desayunar? She's going, She's going to have breakfast. Very good. So, how do you say, ella va a bailar? She's going to dance. Correct. Now, ¿qué pasa cuando tenemos we? Permítame. You, we, or they. ¿Qué, qué verbo to be ocupamos? Are. 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 Very good. So, ¿cómo decimos? Ellos van a dormir. They, 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 they are, are going to sleep. Ajá, they are going to sleep. Escucho que algunos me ponen sleeping con ing. Aquí todo va en verbo base. Ok. Going to plus verb base. Ok. So, let me see. Let me choose my victims. My victims. Um, <laughs> what? My victims. No, that's, that's, I'm kidding. Victim is the correct way to say victim. Ok. Victim. victim. So, let me see. Jairo, ¿cómo se dice yo me voy a bañar mañana? Mañana. Ajá. Mañana es tomorrow. Lo demás ahí tenemos la estructura. I am going to... Ajá. How do you say bañarse? Take a, Take a shower. Take a shower tomorrow. Fantastic. Super easy. Jesse, how do you say, él va a comer pastel? He is going to um, eat cake. There you go, exactly. Como pueden ver, guys, es súper sencillo en cuanto a la estructura, porque se repite. Um, Gabriel, 
Yes. How do you say nosotros vamos a ser exitosos? We are going to. Going to. How do you say ser? Be. Be, exactly. We are going to be. Y exitosos. I'm sorry, I don't. There you go. Don't worry. Esta palabra, guys, success. Es éxito. Success. Successful. Success. Success. Exitoso. Successful. 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 Learn this word, guys, because you gotta be successful. successful. Aprendan esta palabra que ustedes tienen que ser exitosos. Successful. 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 So, Gabriel. Successful. ¿Cómo decimos, Gabriel, nosotros vamos a ser exitosos? We are going. Mm -hmm. We are going to. We are going to be here. Uh -huh. So, la estructura. We are, are going to be going to be successful. Successful. Excellent. So, Gabriel, again, how do you say vamos a ser exitosos? We are. Okay. I think you said it properly. Creo que lo dijiste bien, pero la llamada se está cortando. We are going to be successful. Fantastic. So, guys, what is the structure for going to? Subject. Subject. To be. To be. To be. Going to. Going to. Base verb. And. In complement. Very good. Fantastic. So, what happens with the negative? The negative is super simple. Let's use these structures. ¿Cómo se dice? No voy a cenar. I don't. I don't know dinner. I'm not. I'm not going to dinner. There we go. Ahí está. Lo tenemos. Vamos a meterle el not aquí en medio, guys. Solo es eso. So de, uh, repeat after me, please. I am not going to have dinner. I am, I am not going to dinner. How do you say no voy a bailar? I am, I am not, 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 not going to dance. dance. Correct. Let's take a look at the screen. Veamos la pantalla que aquí les estoy dando todo. How do you say no voy a dormir? I am not going to sleep. Very good. Él no va a cenar. She is not going to eat dinner. She is not going to have dinner. Dinner, sorry. How do you say, él no va a bailar? He is not going to dance. Correct. He's not going to dance. Él no va a dormir. He's not going to sleep. I can I can see the the screen. Mm. All right. Well, let me try. The I last the last sentence. Mm -hmm. So the last sentence is he is not going to sleep. Correct. Mm -hmm. And this one, how do we say? Como decimos, ellos no van a dormir. They are not going to sleep. sleep. All right, fantastic. So, as you can see, como pueden ver, guys, a muchos le tenemos miedo al grammar. Pero simplemente es entender la estructura y empezar a hablar. Prácticamente quitar las piezas de un rompecabezas y poner otras. Si se fijan, empezamos con I, luego metimos he, you, they, y solo eso cambió. All right. So, we are going to work with questions right now. ¿Quién me puede decir cómo va una pregunta? Um, De hecho, ahí tenemos una en, en, la, en la imagen, lo primerito que vemos. What is, how do you ask a question with going to sleep? Are they going to sleep? There you go. There you go. So, lo único que hacemos, guys, si ustedes, si ustedes se fijan, no vamos a ocupar I'm para que no se me confundan al principio. Vamos a poner is, le vamos a dar vuelta a is y a he. Cambiamos el auxiliar al principio. We change the auxiliary at the beginning. So, let me give you the example. 
Is he going to have dinner? Is he mm -hmm. going, to have, going dinner? to have dinner? Y le ponemos el signo de pregunta. ¿Cómo se llama eso en inglés? Question. Question. Question, Question. mark. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Very good, very good. <coughs> Now, how do we say... Va a bailar haciendo referencia a él. Is he going to, to dance? Correct. Very good. ¿Cómo decimos? Siempre hablando de él. Acuérdense que inglés y español tienen ciertos cambios. ¿Va, va a dormir? Refiriéndonos a él. Is he, is he going, to going to sleep? Very good. Very good. Ahí estamos. How do you say van Normalmente no decimos van ellos a dormir, sino que como los estamos viendo, o ya los hemos mencionado antes, solo decimos van a dormir, refiriéndonos a ellos. ¿Cómo preguntamos eso? They are they. Vamos a cambiar. They? Eso es todo. Are they? Very good. Now, we don't have this here. ¿Cómo preguntamos me voy a bañar mañana? I'm going to take a shower tomorrow. Mm. That's good, pero eso sería en afirmación. That would be in affirmative. En pregunta. I'm going to take a shower tomorrow. I'm going to take a shower tomorrow. Am I going to take a shower tomorrow? Take a shower tomorrow. Y el question mark, guys. So, ¿qué diferencia tomorrow. una afirmativa de una pregunta que le damos vuelta al sujeto con el auxiliar y le ponemos al final el question mark? Si ustedes le dan vuelta y al final no ponen el question mark, en escrito está mal. En cualquier examen se lo vamos a poner mal. So, siempre asegurémonos de eso. All right? Okay. Okay. Um, All right. Any, any questions so far, guys? ¿Tenemos question. alguna pregunta? Mm, no. No. All no. right. So, let me ask you something. Oscar, aquí que lo veo paseando por acá. Oscar, are you going to take a shower tomorrow? Uh, I repeat, please. Are you going to take a shower tomorrow? Yes. Yes, comma, I am. I, I going to shower tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Very good. Pregúntenme a mí. Hey, teacher, are you going to take a shower tomorrow? <laughs> hey, teacher. Teacher, <laughs> are you going to take a shower tomorrow? <laughs> Guys, let me tell you, no, I am not. <laughs> okay. Thank you. There's a beautiful song that my, my wife sings. No me quiero bañar, no me quiero bañar. All right, so that's why. <laughs> yeah, there's no water. I'm kidding. So as you can see, guys, estas son las respuestas cortas. Y si ustedes se fijan, simplemente significa sí. ¿Por qué le ponemos el I am? Pura gramática. All right? So, Antonio, are you going to have breakfast tomorrow? Excuse me. Are you going to have breakfast tomorrow? ¿Va a desayunar mañana? Yes, I am. There you go. Jesse, are you going to go to the movies tomorrow? ¿Va a ir al cine mañana? No, I, no, I am not. I There am. you go. Simple as that, guys. All right. Now, pongamos atención también al hecho de que si yo les pregunto con he, y obviamente si ustedes me están preguntando a mí acerca de he, tengo que contestar con he. So, if I ask you, Jairo, is Antonio going to study English tomorrow? La respuesta yeah. sería, yes. Yes, he is. He is. He is. Correct. If I ask you, Carolina, is Jesse going to buy a Ferrari tomorrow? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> no, he's not. No, she's not. Jesse, uh -huh. no, she's she not. Isn't, isn't or she's not. Si ustedes lo quieren poner 
eh, largo. Ajá. Okay. Pero vayámonos acostumbrando, guys, a hacer contractions. Because native speakers, los nativos hablan mucho con contracciones y reducciones. All right? No she okay. isn't. All right. No she isn't. Very good. Yeah. Now, si yo les pregunto, guys, are they, affirmative, right? Are they going to travel to New York? ¿Van a viajar ellos a New York? ¿Cuál es la afirmativa? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Y si tiene que ser que no? No, they are. No, they are. Fantastic. So, otro tip que les puedo dar, guys. Les preguntan con are. Contesten con are. Les preguntan con he. Contestan con he. He. There you go. Are we understanding so far, guys? Vamos entendiendo la estructura de going to? Yes. 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 Okay. Fantastic. So, um, uh, the last advice before we practice our speaking, el último recomendación antes que practiquemos el speaking, es ustedes pueden dar respuestas cortas y luego de eso ustedes se pueden extender. Por ejemplo, si a mí me preguntan, are you going to take a shower tomorrow? Pregúntenme, are you going to take a shower tomorrow? I can tell you, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Because, y ahí digo, ¿por qué? ¿Cómo decimos por qué? Because. Because, because, correct. because, because I am bro. going to work. I am going to work. I am going to work. Exactly. So, aquí vemos, guys, que tenemos respuesta corta, sí o no. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. En mi caso, porque me preguntan a mí. Y si yo quiero agregar más información, lo único que hago es because. decir otra oración. Because. Uh -huh. Tenemos because, que significa porque, damos la razón, y otra oración afirmativa. ¿Ok? ¿Está claro eso, guys? Yes. All right. Let me choose a víctima. Someone. Gabriel. Gabrielito. There we go. Gabriel. Yes. Are you going to study English tomorrow? Yes, I am. Why? Because I need to speak other language. Okay, very good. Si ustedes se fijan, Gabriel me contestó en simple present. Y está muy bien. Está bien, porque ese fue su mensaje. Pero digamos que es algo del futuro. Gabriel, what are you going to do for your next birthday? ¿Qué vas a hacer en tu próximo cumpleaños? I'm going to dance. Ok. Y, guys, acostumbrémonos a meter complemento. Si tú me dices, I'm going to dance, nos quedamos cortos. Metamos, por ejemplo, ¿dónde vas a bailar? Where are you going to dance? Oh, in my party. Okay, very good. So, ya no decimos nada más I'm going to dance, pero decimos algo más completo. I'm going to dance in my party. ¿Con quién vas a bailar? With my family. With my? Family. With my family. I'm going to dance with my family. All right? Ahí es donde metemos el auxiliar. How do you say voy a bailar en el Zurita? I'm going to, going to, going to, going to dancing in Surita. Very good. So you see, guys, and here is when we really speak really, English. Aquí es really donde dangerous. Hablar English. Ooh, super dangerous. All right, guys. So this is what we're going to do. We are, I'm going to open the, the break rooms right now. Vamos a hablar por aproximadamente... 17 minutos, all right? Pero necesito right. que entre todos empiecen a hacer preguntas. Are you going to bla bla bla? Y preguntan siempre why para que ellos puedan contestar con una respuesta corta y luego la larga en futuro. Y agreguemos siempre complemento. How do you say mañana? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. En agosto. In August. In August. En dos horas. In two hours. hours. In two hours. Mm -hmm. In two hours. Oh. So, en la pregunta, al final, en el complemento de la pregunta, vamos a meter expresiones de tiempo para que la persona sepa cuándo. 
y vamos a contestar. El último ejemplo antes de abrir los break rooms. Necesito que alguien, algún voluntario me haga una pregunta. Anybody, cualquiera. No se peleen, solo uno. What are you make tomorrow, teacher? Ok, very good. So, hagámoslo bien. What are What? you... Are you? Uh -huh. Vamos a ponerlo aquí. Bueno, hagamos preguntas de sí o no. Hágame una pregunta de sí o no. Are you... Ayúdenme, help me. Are you going to eat tomorrow? Going to eat tomorrow. Very good. Um, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Why? 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 Because voy a tener hambre. I'm going to be hungry. Ok, so eso es lo que van a hacer. Una pregunta con sí o no, contestan sí y el por qué. ¿Está claro? Yes. Ok, okay. okay. all right. Fantastic, guys. Let's go ahead and take turns. Um, tratemos de no acaparar mucho. Digamos, súper rápido las respuestas. Si tenemos alguna pregunta, preguntemos. Y demos el pasado, démosle la oportunidad a la persona de a la par de nuestra foto. Y luego la otra y otra. Tratemos siempre de hacerlo en orden. Let's try to do it in order. All right? All right. All right, all right guys. So, all of the information is in the chat. Let's practice right now. Let me open the groups. Um, yeah. There we go. Please accept the invite and start practicing. I sent the invite already. All right, Antonio accepted, Jennifer, Amy Claudia, Edith. All right, so we're just missing Francisco Cruz and Jesse. Jesse, do you see the little invite that says join? This is oh, join. Okay, okay. All right, very good. Thank you. All right, so let's join a room. You say me, you're, you're going to? Uh, okay, I'm going to have a party. Oh, you have a party, okay. Where? Why? Where? And in my house. In your house, okay. Questioning me. Are you going to work tomorrow? That will be ask me. I am. Ask me. Hola, que callado. <laughs> Come on, guys. So here, Gabriel. No tengan pena. You can ask Jennifer. All right, tú le puedes preguntar a Jennifer. Jennifer, tú a Oscar, Oscar a Antonio, Antonio a Coloto, a, a Gabriel, and there we go. Mientras les llega su turno, okay. pueden ir preparando una o dos preguntas para que tratemos de hacerlo más rápido. Ok. Gabriel, are you going to meet tomorrow? Okay, Gabriel. Yes, Why? Um, Why? Why? Because to be hungry. Because in the structure, what about the structure? Because I am going to be hungry. Okay. Uh -huh. Very good. Now, Gabriel, go ahead and ask Jennifer something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jennifer. <laughs> yes. Do <laughs> shower tomorrow? Uh huh. 
Yes, I am. Why? Because I have to work. Okay, good, good answer. Pero solo para la práctica, just for the practice, let's answer in going to. Because I am going to go to because work. I, because I am, because I'm going to go work tomorrow. O también, porque voy a trabajar o porque voy a ir a trabajar. Ese sería el, I'm going to go to work. Pero como I'm que... going to go to work. Go, go. Oh, to work. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. All right, continue. Jennifer, please ask Oscar. Oscar, Hi. are you going to... Cook Good. today. Today, um, I am going to sleep. Okay, very good. Um, pero asegurémonos de contestar con sí o no primero. Va a cocinar, Oscar? Uh, yes. yes, I am. Okay. Yes, I am. I am going to. Oh, sorry. Repeat, please. <laughs> Don't worry. Jennifer, please repeat. <laughs> okay. Are you going to cook today or tonight? Yes, I am. I am going. ¿Qué va a cocinar? Esa es una muy buena oportunidad para meter qué va a cocinar. I am going to cook. Y usted dice qué. I am going to cook. To cook. Mm -hmm. Egg. For example, chicken. Ajá, chicken, eggs, pancakes, pupusas. Rough beef. Pizza. Rough beef. Pizza. pizza. Pero pizza sería bake. Bacon. Pizza sería bake. El verbo es bake para pizza. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Ahora, Oscar, pregúntale a Antonio. Sigan así, guys. Voy a visitar otro grupo. Keep doing the good job. And I'll check later on with your group, ok? Ok. Thank you. Continue. Thank you. You're doing a great job. Antonio. I don't light. I don't light. Because I don't not light. Because I don't like I don't like it. ¿Qué es lo que no le gusta? What is it that you don't like? El pastel. The cake. Oh, okay, cake. So yeah, you can say it because cake. I don't like it. El it es el objeto del que estaban hablando antes. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Porque no me gusta, because I don't like it. Tenemos que poner el it. I don't like it. Because I don't like it. Because I don't like it. There you go. So, continue, please. Oh, Claudia, hágale una pregunta a uh, Edith, please. Ask a question to Edith. Okay. Mm. Are you going to? I go in. How do you say vas a ir a Pulo, for example? <laughs> you are going to dance tomorrow? Okay. Démosle vuelta a la auxiliar. Are you going, Are to, you dance going to dance tomorrow? Good job. Eat it. No, I am no, no, I'm not. No, I am not. Okay. Why? Why? Ah, because I don't like dance. I okay, good. I don't like to dance. Um, en este caso, guys, tratemos. Está muy bien la respuesta. El por qué no pero tratemos de ocupar going to, solo para practicar oh, okay. el tense. I am not going, no, I am not, because I am going to study, por ejemplo, o, por, oh. o negativo si queremos, because I am not going to go out, porque no voy a salir. All right? Okay. So, okay. eat it. How do you say mm -hmm. no, porque voy a estudiar? Uh, I, because I, I am, I, I am not going to, 
uh, study English. Okay. Ahí sería en afirmativo, sí, because I am going to study okay. English. Por eso no voy a bailar. Perfect. Edit. Now you ask a question to Carolina, Carolina to Wilbur, and so on and so on. Siempre tratan okay. de contestar con going to para que practiquen, ya sea negativo o afirmativo. Okay. Carolina, are you going to drive your car tomorrow? Good question, Carol. Uh, yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Bec uh, why? There you go. Uh, because it is... Con going um, to, solo para practicar, con going to. Uh, because I'm going to um, drive my... Drive... Drive a car is very fast. Um, mm -hmm. Aquí sería, ¿por qué va a manejar... <laughs> Tratemos de tener la idea. Ah, ok. ¿Por qué va a manejar su vehículo mañana, Caro? ¿Va a ir a trabajar? Why, why I'm going to drive uh, with my... Um, drive... Uh, going to... Uh, in my work. Going to go. Ok. Going to, to go. going to go my job. Yes, you can. Eso me gusta. Ayúdense entre ustedes. Okay. I am going to go... Entonces, el going to es auxiliar y el go es el verbo. No importa que tengamos going to. I am going to go to work. How do you say voy a ir a trabajar? I'm going to go, go, to, work. go to, work. to work. To go to work. Very good. Fantastic. I'm going to work. All right. Work. Continue, guys. Continúen okay. así. Voy a revisar otro grupo. I'm going to check another okay. one. You're doing good. Good job. Okay. Wilmer. Thanks. Uh, Let's check another group to see how they're doing. All right. Number three. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello, teacher. ¿Cómo se dice salgo tarde de mi trabajo? I leave work late. Uh, o también puede decir, I work late. Yo trabajo tarde. Ah, uh, okay. okay. I work I late. Work late. Mm -hmm. I work late. I work late. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. All right, um, solo para que tengamos una idea, guys, de cómo vamos a estar trabajando. Uh, por ejemplo, aquí tengo a Jairo, Mar, a, a Jairo, perdón, Jaira, Jairo, Marta, Américo y Francisco. Ustedes ven el mismo orden, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, so vamos a hacer esto en siempre que trabajemos. Por ejemplo, obviamente son diferentes personas en diferentes grupos. Jairo le pregunta a Marta, Marta a Américo, Américo a Francisco, Francisco a Jairo. Para que podamos llevar un orden y todos participemos, ¿ok? Okay. Pero, right. pero Francisco parece que no, no tiene el audio, Ticha. Oh, ok. Well, if he doesn't have the audio, then don't worry. Américo o Jairo. Ok. Mm -hmm. All right, Américo, do me a favor. Ask Jairo a question, please. Ok. Uh, Jairo, are you going to... Are, are going to... To see the TV uh, today. Okay. Watch yes, TV. Yes, I am. Watch TV. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. Okay. Jairo, good. ¿Qué va a haber? Ocupe going to. What are you going to watch? I am going to the Come on, yeah, football. Football. I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch a soccer match. A, a soccer match. Uh -huh. soccer, soccer match. In the United States, football <laughs> is American football. Football americano. Soccer is el football que nosotros conocemos. Okay. Okay. All right, so, guys. You're doing good. Continue. Continue now. How Jairo to Marta and so on. Jairo, pregúntale a, 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 a Marta. There you go. Okay. Try to do it in English. Jairo, please ask Marta in English so we can learn. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave you guys. Exciting tomorrow?
¿Cómo es que sería ahí? Exciting. Eh, exciting tomorrow. Eh, puede ser. No, I am not because I am going to work. Puede okay. ser así. Ok. Es como la pregunta de la, de la conversación, que si va a ser algo emocionante mañana. Uh -huh. Ah, es que... El... Ajá. Ajá. Sí, ¿Cómo se escribe diferente? Ajá. Es excitante, es que algo así como excitante. Ajá. Y en ajá. realidad es emocionante. emocionante. Yes, sí. I am work tomorrow. <risa> <risa> Good job, Exciting. Girl. Hello. Hi, I'm here. I'm just checking your progress. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, guys. Um, I'm gonna close the chats. Okay. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. All right, so we're coming back. I have Claudia, Jesse, Carolina. Good job, everybody's coming back. All right, guys, in the meantime, do you have any questions on the use of going to? Tienen alguna pregunta con el uso de going to? Anybody? No. No? All right, no. fantastic. Um, when do we use going to? Cuando ocupamos going to? When I have plans. When you have plans. Yeah, Same plans. All of that. Super, super, super. All right, guys. So that will be all for today. Esto va a ser todo. Um, la manera en la que me tardé en los grupos porque les estaba explicando cómo, cómo vamos a estar trabajando. Eh, como tareas, si ustedes tienen tiempo, uh, les voy a pedir que por favor hagan cinco oraciones de cada una. Cinco negativas, cinco afirmativas, cinco preguntas. Okay. Okay. Y traten de variar los sujetos, ¿verdad? no solo I, no solo you, no solo he, sino que en vez de he podemos meter Gabriel, no solo she, podemos meter Claudia, no solo they, podemos meter Claudia en Carolina, etcétera, etcétera. All right? Okay. okay. All right, fantastic, guys. So, it was a pleasure. Um, traten de hacer el, el knowledge check que viene de esto. Y siempre vean los videos en la plataforma para que ustedes tengan un refresher. All right? Okay. All right, guys. So, it was Thanks. my pleasure. Thank you for joining the class tonight. Thank you for being a part of Inglés Corporativo. My name is Alejandro Narbona, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good evening. Good Thanks. night. Thanks. 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 Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you for your hard work, guys. Gracias por su duro trabajo. Cuídense mucho. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.